Now, we'll create method to register users. So, open account controller. Add HTTP post annotation. Under it, create async method of type task of I action result named register and pass register view model as parameter named model. Inside it, use if statement and check if model state is valid. Inside it, create object of users models named users and initialize it. Now, set full name equal to model.name. Set email equal to model.email. Set username equal to model.email. Now, create a variable named result. But before, create private read only property of type sign in manager, pass it users model, and name it sign in manager. Now, create private read only property of type user manager, pass it users model, and name it user manager. Now create constructor of this class and initialize both properties inside it. Now initialize result property with user manager dot create async method, pass it users property, also pass it model dot password. Use if statement and check if result is succeeded. Inside it, return redirect to action method and pass it action name first and then pass controller name. Create else block. Use for each loop to iterate through all errors from result. Inside it, use model state dot add model error method. Pass empty string as key and then pass error dot description to it. Then return view. And inside it, return model. And at the end, return view, and inside it, return model. Now run the app. Go to register page. It returns errors if try to submit empty form. Now fill the form to register a user to test. Password give error if it's not 8 digits long. And also returns error if passwords do not match. Now try to register. And we are redirected to login page which means user is registered. Let's check it inside database. And user is added successfully in database. With this, register method is complete.